if we have a triangle like this one here, and we're looking at this angle, this is what we'll call a reference angle for now, we have three sides we can talk about. Now this one, the largest side, will always be called the hypotenuse. So I'm going to abbreviate the hypotenuse with HYP. This side here at the bottom is opposite the angle we're referring to. So let's call that the opposite side. This side, being next to the angle, is adjacent. I'm going to label that ADJ. Adjacent just means next to. And one thing to be careful of is not to call this side the adjacent side. Even though, yes, it is next to this angle, we give this one the special name hypotenuse because it is the longest side. Now, if we think back to our sides from before, our side lengths, we had 5 meters, 12 meters, and a hypotenuse of 13 meters. What we now know is that any time we have a similar triangle to this one, so a right triangle with an angle of 22.6 degrees here, the ratio of opposite to adjacent will always, always be 5 over 12. This ratio is so important that we're going to give it its own name. And so the first trigonometric ratio you're going to learn is the tangent. And the tangent of an angle is always equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which in this case would have been 5 over 12. I would write that by saying the tangent of 22.6 degrees equals 5 over 12. But that's not the only ratio we can talk about. We can also compare the opposite to the hypotenuse. When we do that, we're using what's called a sine. So I should note that I'm making abbreviations here, tan for tangent, S-I-N for sine. Sine is just the opposite over the hypotenuse. Can you tell me what would the sine of 22.6 degrees be? Remember, the tangent of 22.6 was 5 over 12. What's the sine? Enter in your answer here. So you can enter it as a fraction with the numerator up here and the denominator down here. 